Hey everybody, Jennifer Dixon here with Thrive Yoga and Wellness and I thought I would shoot a really quick video, all natural, to tell you about some cool stuff that we got into the studio. So, and I will make sure to link to the YouTube video that we shot last Wednesday for our Wamabaga Wednesday discussions. We got to invite Jennifer Edinger from my, <clears throat> excuse me, my <coughs> IU, holy moly, I'm struggling here, my IU, she came and we talked a little bit about Ayurveda, we talked a little bit about uh, the water element, and then we also briefly mentioned how we were going to start to have some Ayurvedic body care products in the studio, and so I'm super pumped that they're here because I've actually gotten to use the daytime brightening oil for a few weeks, almost a month now, and I really, really like it, and so I actually just took home the nighttime oil a couple days ago and there's also a um, an oil that you can put on for your joints like achy joints aches and pains and so today I thought I would demonstrate for you guys how what this product is what it looks like and then another really cool product that we got in which is called a Kanza wand and how you can use the oil with the Kanza wand so in case you were wondering what all this is about I thought I would shoot you a video just so that you can see it so when you come into the studio you're gonna see right on the top shelf we've got these pretty little pink containers and I realized that this is backwards I thought I did the trick with the Facebook mirroring thing, but apparently I don't know what I'm doing. So this is called Casarati oil, Casarati oil. And unfortunately it is not vegan, but it is vegetarian. It does uh, use a cow's milk as one of the primary things. So I'm sorry for all my vegans, but it is an Ayurvedic skin brightening lotion and or oil rather. And I've been using face oils for, oh my gosh, right when I turned 30, I started using face oils because I started getting worried about all of the dif different chemicals that were in face creams and face, hey Karen, good to see you. And um, I was breaking out really bad as a 30 year old, which is never awesome. So I started making all natural face oils and using my own blends of face oils and essential oils and things like that. And so that is why I absolutely loved the idea of this, hey Deborah, uh, Kesarati oil because it's basically doing what I was already doing but blending it in such a way that is uh, good for it from the Ayurvedic science perspective and even better if you combine it with this dun 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 Kanza wand you get the benefits in Ayurveda they talk about the benefits of putting copper on your skin and how it helps to revitalize and all that kind of stuff so I thought I would demonstrate how to use these things so that when you come to the studio you can try out some of the oils we've got some we've got a few more bottles of the Kasarati oil and we've got a few more um, bottles of the nighttime oil and I, I can do a video for that later if you want so what happens is you're gonna get this bottle and it comes with this little, it's not really a dropper, but it's like a glass thing that the oil drops off. They actually recommend like three to five drops. I apparently have super dry skin because I end up using more than that. And you can use your fingers. You can put like, here's the bottle, you open it up. And by the way, this stuff, the Casarati oil smells really good. It's got rose oil and vetiver, which I also put in my face oils. And it's got a whole bunch of it. It's like turmeric, some other, some other really cool stuff. And it smells amazing. I love the way that rose oil smells. So you can go ahead and get it. And you can put just like a drop on your finger like this, a drop or two, and then rub it in that way. But, and you can see like it rubs right in right away, right? Um, but if you bust out the Kanza wand, which we also have, and I believe Merritt's going to use these tonight in her weekly meditation, you can take the Kanza wand and you can put a couple of drops on the Kanza wand. And the cool thing about a Kanza wand, which I need to actually write something up for you guys, is the, the copper supposedly, there's, this is a copper blend, um, inter interacts with your skin. It helps to brighten it. But... It also kind of helps to be like a massage. So then you get it and you start to rub it in like in little circles. And when you first start using it, it's really cold. So it feels good on those under eye bags where it's like, I don't know if you're like me, but I get really, 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 really swollen eyes, especially when I'm tired, which is like all the time now. So I put three drops on mine and I'm rubbing it in and you can see that it's a little bit more oily on this side than that side. But over time, it's just going to rub in. 
And I usually use, I think I, I do three to five drops three times on my face and on my neck. And I've been doing this, I just got the Kanza one Friday because we just got these in. But I've been using the oil now for, like I said, almost a month. And I really like it. It hasn't caused me to break out. I, I feel like it's really helping to, to keep my skin moisturized because, as you know, the the air the temperatures dropped like crazy and yesterday it was so windy and so it was really cool because normally I have to change my lotion up a whole bunch in the winter time adding avocado oil and some heavier oils but this I didn't have to do that with it it didn't leave me super oily before it got really cold and now that it has gotten cold I am not dry like I normally get in the winter time so it's really cool you put it on the morning you can put it on underneath your your makeup, you know, because I do that every day. It actually does blend in really well with your makeup. You can use your Kanza wand or you can use your hands. And again, the Kanza wand starts out really cold, so it's really nice to do that with your under eye circles. And you know, I'm no makeup person. I'm no really great skincare person, but you know you always go in with these. And we should probably have Sunita do a video on the proper way to apply makeup and or lotions. But anyways, so this is the new Kirasati oil. It feels really good. As you can see, it's like basically already kind of rubbed in. I have a little bit more on this side than I did on that side. It leaves your skin feeling really soft and it smells like rose and vetiver, which are two of my favorite scents, especially for a face oil. I love this stuff. It's really, really awesome. We now have it in the studio right when you walk in. Casarati oil, and these are the Kanza ones. You can also use these Kanza ones. Oh my gosh, they're really, really, really awesome. So if you've got sinus issues, because my kids have been congested, you can use these along your sinus cavities, here along the top of your eyebrows, and then here. But beware when you do, because this is massaging stuff, it's going to loosen some stuff up. I actually um, was introduced to the Kanza wand by Merit, and she had me doing this this fall with the Kanza wand when I was super congested, and I would start out rubbing it this way, then rubbing the sinuses, you know, trying to get it down, and I swear to you, I started like having to do that because it was loosening up all the congestion. So try these Kanza ones. They're really, really, really cool. They're not that expensive, and the Kasarati Kas oil is really good. It's similar. The, Ka the Kanza ones are similar to those jade rollers, but I'm pretty sure the Kanza ones predate the jade rollers, and you don't have to just use them on your face. You can honestly use them as a massage tool anywhere. Like, I've been using it back here because my neck's been bothering me, and it it's just supposed to be really good, and it feels really good. So, next time you're in the studio, stop by that front, the shelves, and this Kanza one is actually in a box that's similar to this, but I'm pretty sure it's like a golden color so you can open it up and check it out we've got a few more of those and then definitely sample the Casarati oil I think you'll really like it because again it smells so light and refreshing and I really I like it I feel like it's helping to keep my skin nice and moisturized even though it's cool and who doesn't want an excuse to kind of pamper yourself for a few moments every day just kind of rubbing in the spots where you know we might need a little more moisture so anyways i thought i would give you an all natural video of how you can use this casarati oils and the kanza ones they're pretty cool thank you so much for watching everybody and i can't wait to see you in the studio very very soon take care bye bye